Hey everyone, this is Christopher with Elm Street and we are at a cold December day outside but I wanted to show you because it's December and it's been actually quite some time and so we wanted to give you an update to the Reeves house. So we are going to take a look and uh, give you another sneak peek. One of the things that I wanted to show you, one, we've obviously painted the outside of the house. It's a um, it's, uh, Sherman Williams alabaster white, which matches actually a lot of things, including it's, you can see here, this is an iron ore of the Kish Center that we showed you at last video. And so um, this actually will be the inverse of the Reeves house. So we'll actually get some iron ore trim, just the opposite of that. We think it'll look really sharp. That also matches the shipping container restrooms also on site. Uh, there's a lot of reasons behind that. Um, one, it just looks good, that it's all cohesive. Um, but another, you'll just have to wait until a little bit later until we uh, we can reveal a few more things as to why we are uh, we're going with this color scheme. I just wanted to show you. I was going to originally show you a great front shot of the house. Looks great. But I wanted to also show you that window because the wind is blowing and it's cold. But look, it's worth it. It looks really good. The house looks really good. It's cold, but it looks good. All right, so we are here, which will actually be the back porch, um, which I think we saw a little bit in a previous video, but still, I'm not sure if you can tell from here, but there's actually two different kinds of sidings. We know we talked about that last time. You can see also some of the uh, window trims have come in. Eventually, too, all of the windows will have um, some extra trim on them as well. It'll all match and look really nice. And uh, um, I think they, I think everyone did a really great job of, of, of capturing the style of what we were going for. So we're really excited. All right, last time I went in the front door. Let's check a look inside. All right, so we are in the inside, and you can actually see that the drywall has gone up. And um, goodness, I guess since the last time we've put in insulation, uh, finalized all of the electrical, put up the drywall, painted. Um, so we've got the first prime in here, and it's looking really good, really sharp all the way around. So um, here you can see staircase going up here which is exciting and then we've got gallery you see some uh, some extra wood over here that we're gonna be using here shortly um, as well as you've got the coffee bar uh, and wine bar over here which I think is gonna look really good when it's done I think what we're gonna do is obviously we have a white uh, white walls throughout and there's gonna have uh, two you know, excuse me, I think three black pendant lights uh, hanging there, which will kind of be a nice contrast to everything else. But certainly plenty of wall space uh, for art, uh, as well as we'll have some partitions, and I'll show you kind of what we're gonna do with some of that in a little bit as well. All right, you can also see that we're getting some doors in. And you can see Goodness, um, actually out here on the porch, you can see the ceiling starting to go in. Um, that looks really great. As well as the ceiling in the classroom. And obviously we're, I think actually last time the doors weren't in, this actually will be an, um, an access door so that we can have classes kind of throughout and needed. And I don't think last time I showed you, we are in upstairs. I don't think I showed you upstairs last time. Um, we've got a little bit of storage, but as well as um, some office space, maybe an office here. Um, I think I mentioned this, but there's a, uh, a black steel um, railing throughout this whole thing. It'll start at the bottom of the stairs 
and really go up and around and wrap around the whole thing. Have some office space here, office here. Will be really useful um, and certainly needed. Remember this doorway, so we're in the gallery right now, right? And there's a doorway here, and that's going into the visual arts classroom. Remember from last time I said we'd have a big barn door that would go uh, right here and slide out for our, for our classes. Well, I wanted to show you this guy, which looks great, but not only does it look great, this is actually from uh, the wood from the original Reeves house. So the, um, the, the rim, the, the outer edges are actually the um, foundation pieces or some of the foundation pieces from the original Reeves house. And then all of the diagonal pieces here um, are, the, are, are part of the siding from the original Reeves house. So we, uh, we're, we plan to do more on incorporating, but we thought this was a really beautiful piece and it was here. So we thought we'd show it off a little bit. So we're excited to start incorporating some of the original Reeves house into this new structure here. But in the end, the space is coming together just magnificently. And again, we just wanted to take a moment to thank you for making it possible. Um, whether you're, uh, you know, a part of the city, we're uh, really, uh, if you're if you're watching from the city and you stepped in early and we're a big supporter of this early on, we really appreciate it. Um, certainly, the JW team uh, and all of the subcontractors. I was speaking with. John and some of the some of the team uh, from uh, the JW collection, um, which is obviously orchestrating a fantastic construction, um, but they were, you know, certainly acknowledging all of the subcontractors that were working with them, whether they're con uh, con contributing um, or uh, stepping up in big ways to help try and save money in certain ways. Just really, this has become a huge community and team effort. And of course, to say the least, you uh, for donating and supporting this project all along the way. Again, we can't thank you enough for that support. Along with, of course, uh, the support that we know is gonna come just in filling, uh, filling the room, filling the gallery with so many fun moments and filling the classroom with so many great uh, teaching moments, uh, whether for summer camps or adults or whatever. We are so excited for, for what's to come this spring and we can't thank you enough both for getting to this point um, and again for all that's to come still. So we'll see you next time at the next Reeves House uh, update which gosh is coming up. It's got to come up soon because things are flying by so we'll keep you updated soon. Thanks. Whew. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs>